Leslie Nielsen, a stalwart in classic Hollywood, left an indelible mark on the world of entertainment. For many, the question of which work of Leslie Nielsen is held closest to the heart elicits a nostalgic journey through a repertoire that spans decades. Whether it was the deadpan humor in Airplane, or the iconic role in the Naked Gun series, Nielsen's comedic prowess is etched into the collective memory of audiences. The recognition of Leslie Nielsen often sparks a personal recollection of the first encounter with his distinctive style. Perhaps it was the delivery of a perfectly timed punchline or the seamless integration of comedy into genres traditionally devoid of humor. Nielsen's ability to balance wit with an unwavering commitment to character made him a household name. As we reflect on this classic Hollywood actor, we invite you to share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Leslie Nielsen in the comments below. Your stories add depth to the legacy of this comedic legend. Share the moments that made you laugh or the scenes that left a lasting impression. We would love to hear your anecdotes and memories. Leslie Nielsen, renowned for his comedic roles, was considered for the iconic character Jack Torrance in Stanley Kubrick's The Shining, a role eventually played by Jack Nicholson. Despite not landing this significant part, Nielsen's career was marked by his adeptness at humor rather than dramatic roles. Interestingly, he never appeared in a film that received a nomination for the Best Picture Academy Award. Beyond his on-screen persona, Nielsen was widely recognized for his off-screen antics. Renowned as a practical joker on film sets, he brought a lighthearted and humorous atmosphere to the serious business of filmmaking. His playful nature became a hallmark of his personality, making him a beloved figure among his colleagues. In the realm of cinema, Leslie Nielsen left an indelible mark with his comedic prowess, though he never graced the screen in a film that earned the coveted recognition of a Best Picture nomination. His legacy endures not only for his performances, but also for the laughter and joy he brought to those around him, both in front of and behind the camera. Leslie Nielsen, recognized primarily for his comedic prowess, found his breakthrough as a fundament in the film Airplane. Surprisingly, this wasn't his comedic debut. He had dabbled in the genre with earlier films, including How to Commit Marriage, but it was Airplane. That truly showcased his comedic talents to a broader audience. In his personal life, Nielsen had a half-brother, Gilbert Nielsen, residing in Hobbs, New Mexico. Despite his public persona, Leslie's private life had familial connections that extended beyond the glitz of Hollywood. Tragically, Nielsen passed away just 35 days before his co-star from Forbidden Planet, Anne Francis. The timing added a poignant layer to the connection between the two actors, highlighting the fleeting nature of life in the entertainment industry. While Leslie Nielsen's comedic legacy remains paramount, these lesser-known facets of his life add depth to the narrative of a man who brought laughter to many. Whether on screen or off, Nielsen's impact reaches beyond the surface of his well-known comedic roles. Awarded the OC by the Governor General of Canada on October 10, 2002, Leslie Nielsen's contributions to entertainment were officially recognized. Beyond his renowned comedic roles, this honor underscored his significance in the Canadian entertainment landscape. Notably, in fall 2003, the Leslie Nielsen School of Communications was inaugurated at Grant McEwen College in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, with Nielsen present for the ceremony. This establishment stands as a testament to his lasting impact on the field, providing a platform for future generations to study and appreciate the art of communication. Nielsen's legacy extends far beyond the laughter he brought to audiences, solidifying his place as a distinguished figure in Canadian entertainment and communication. Leslie Nielsen, known for his comedic brilliance, left an enduring mark on American cinema. Standing tall at 61 half in his prime, he maintained a commanding presence on screen throughout his career. Despite a slight height loss in later years, he remained just over six feet when he settled in Fort Lauderdale. His cinematic journey includes two films, Forbidden Planet and Airplane, both honored by the Library of Congress on the National Film Registry for their cultural and historical significance. These movies showcased Nielsen's versatility, from the sci-fi classic to the uproarious comedy that marked his breakthrough. Following his passing, Nielsen found his resting place in Evergreen Cemetery in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. In a final act of humor, he chose Letter Rip as his epitaph 
leaving a lighthearted touch even in his departure. Beyond the laughter he brought to audiences, Nielsen's impact resonates in his contributions to Canadian entertainment. Awarded the Officer of the Order of Canada in 2002, he was officially recognized for his lasting influence. The inauguration of the Leslie Nielsen School of Communications in 2003 at Grant McEwen College in Edmonton, Alberta, stands as a testament to his commitment to the art of communication. In summary, Leslie Nielsen's legacy is not just about his height or comedic roles, but also about the cultural significance of his films and his enduring impact on Canadian entertainment and communication. Film critic Roger Ebert once hailed him as the Lawrence Olivier of spoofs, acknowledging Leslie Nielsen's unparalleled talent in comedic roles. Nielsen, whose father hailed from Denmark and mother from Wales, brought a unique blend of humor and versatility to American cinema. He became a naturalized United States citizen on November 16, 1958, solidifying his connection to the country where he would leave an indelible mark. Nielsen's comedic brilliance found its pinnacle in films like Airplane, where he showcased a comedic prowess that Ebert likened to Olivier's mastery in dramatic roles. This acclaim marked a breakthrough moment in Nielsen's career, propelling him into the forefront of American comedy. Beyond the laughter he elicited on screen, Nielsen's journey to U.S. Citizenship underlines his commitment to his craft and the nation where he would make his mark. As an actor who seamlessly blended humor with impeccable timing, Nielsen's contributions to American cinema endure as a testament to his comedic legacy. Attending and graduating from Victoria Composite High School in Edmonton, Alberta, Leslie Nielsen laid the early foundations of his journey to comedic stardom. His roots in Canada ran deep, a fact reflected in his honorary citizenship bestowed upon him, and co-star Paul Gross by Winnipeg Mayor Glenn Murray during the promotion of their movie Men with Brooms in 2002. Notably, Nielsen's family ties extended beyond the realm of entertainment, with his older brother Eric Nielsen making significant contributions as a high-ranking Canadian politician. Eric Nielsen, a progressive conservative member of parliament for the Yukon Territory, served from 1957 to 1987. His political career reached its zenith when he assumed the role of Deputy Prime Minister of Canada from 1984 to 1986. The tragic end came on September 4, 2008, when Eric Nielsen succumbed to a massive heart attack in Kelowna, British Columbia. This familial connection sheds light on the actor's ties to the political landscape showcasing a side of Leslie Nielsen beyond the laughter-inducing characters he portrayed on screen. These early experiences and family ties not only shaped Nielsen's personal journey, but also contributed to the diverse tapestry of his life. As we explore the lesser-known facets of the man behind the comedic genius, we uncover a story that goes beyond the glitz of Hollywood and delves into the nuanced layers of his Canadian roots and family legacy. As the curtain falls on this cinematic journey, let us pause and bask in the timeless glow of Leslie Nielsen's indelible performances. A maestro of laughter and a virtuoso of wit, Nielsen graced the silver screen with a charisma that transcends time. Now, dear reader, it's your turn to step into the spotlight. Reflect on the tapestry of moments woven by Leslie Nielsen's craft. Unearth the memories that linger, the scenes that made you roar with laughter or stirred a quiet resonance within. Share your thoughts, let your words dance with the echo of his brilliance. In the vast landscape of entertainment, Leslie Nielsen carved a niche that is uniquely his own. A master of deadpan humor, a conductor of comedic symphonies, he left an indomitable mark that continues to resonate in the hearts of those who have had the pleasure of witnessing his genius. As we bid adieu to this moment of reflection, let the echoes of Leslie Nielsen's performances linger in your mind. May they serve as a reminder of the joy that storytelling and the silver screen can bring into our lives. Thank you, dear reader, for taking this brief interlude to celebrate the legacy of Leslie Nielsen. Your reflections are the threads that weave the tapestry of appreciation for a talent that will forever sparkle in the constellation of entertainment. Appreciatively, 